one thing cardiologists know by now people with heart problems have a higher risk for serious complications if they get covid nineteen yet many people are unaware of this many people know that it affects the lungs but it can also affect the heart the pumping function of the heart the clotting mechanisms in the blood all of this put you to a very high risk of having cardiovascular problems. COVID can also damage healthy hearts, even if people don't show any symptoms. We see patients who have likely had viral infections that they didn't even recognize, and yet they manifest with heart failure symptoms months or years later. So there's there could be a long-term implication to the health of patients who have been affected by COVID-19. Dr. Anderson says this is true even for some patients who had healthy hearts before getting the coronavirus. They had elevations of blood enzyme markers that were consistent with a heart attack, even though they didn't have any blockages in their coronary arteries. They had heart rhythm disturbances, and that this occurred with quite high prevalence. Emotional stress also plays a role, says Dr. Kapadia. People who have uh, fear, people who have uh, anger, uh, it has been shown that both of these can lead to blood clotting mechanisms and can cause uh, heart attacks. Some of the heart damage doctors are seeing is reversible, but some is not, and it can lead to death. At the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio, researchers are testing an antibiotic and a medication for diabetes. They want to see if these drugs can prevent heart damage in COVID patients. Antibiotics fight bacterial infections. They don't work on viruses. But there are tiny, bean-shaped parts inside our cells called mitochondria. Mitochondria generate chemical energy and drive many of our body's functions, including our heartbeat. Scientists believe that mitochondria evolved from a type of bacteria, so an antibiotic might protect them from the coronavirus, and the mitochondria, in turn, would protect the heart. The diabetes drug being tested also helps mitochondria continue to produce energy. The researchers hope to start clinical trials with people who have recovered from the coronavirus so doctors can see if the volunteers' hearts continue to function well long after they have recovered from COVID-19. Carol Pearson, VOA News.